Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathDuck.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play MathPup Golf 2, which is a sequel to our popular MathPup Golf game. Okay, let's let go ahead and click the play button, and this will take you to the uh, sub menu where if you click the walkthrough link, this will take you to the video walkthrough you're watching now. The instructions uh, link will take you to this set of instructions here, and it also has some hints at the bottom. Go ahead and click back. The more games will take you to our website, www.mathnook.com. And to play the game, you click this button here, and we'll see the game. The object of the game is to fill out, completely fill out your card using the dice rolls over here. And this plays a lot like the uh, old Yahtzee dice game. And uh, like golf, you will try to get each hole in as few shots as possible. But that'll give you a high score and so unlike golf you're trying for a high score okay let's go ahead and click roll because right now if I choose the these nothing will happen let's go ahead and click roll and uh, okay so here's the uh, here's my roll and I've got to see which objective if any of them that it meets now I would like to say that there's some uh, some subtraction problems here you see the difference is odd number the difference is 2 and 5 and the difference is even number the difference is 0 so anytime you're faced with a, a subtraction problem always subtract a smaller number and in this case 5 from the larger number in this case 6 so let's go ahead and look through here and so the product is a multiple of 3 that's not true uh, the sum is an even number greater than 7 that's half the sum has to be an odd number. Difference is zero. That's not correct. The product is evenly divisible by four. That doesn't work in this one. The difference is an odd number. So five minus six is one, and that's an odd number. We can go ahead and click, put it there. And you notice it says I got a hole in one. The text that flew by said that. And I've got a star indicating I've got a hole in one. And actually, a uh, score of 30, which will be higher, uh, the highest score you can get on a hole. And the objective is marked scratched out. Now, if I had, uh, say, incorrectly chosen this one, it would have showed up as an X. And then when I did get a, a dice roll where the product was a multiple of three, and I clicked this one, it would uh, it would be correct, but I'd only get 25 points, and I wouldn't get the uh, star here. Go ahead and do a couple more of these, give you an idea how to play it. Says, and uh, Two and three, and it says the product is a multiple of three. So two times three is six, and that is a product of a multiple of three. So let's go ahead and click that and got a hole in one there. Now every time you roll, you can keep rolling if you like, but if you notice, every time I roll and don't use it, the score will go down. So you see the score just went down there. 50, okay, and now it's 45, okay. So let's go ahead and look at some more, and I'm going to show you... Uh, what happens when you don't get a hole in one? So the sum, the different. Let's go ahead and look at one. Uh, da -da. The sum is a factor of 20. Let's go ahead. Uh, the product is less than nine. Okay, let's go ahead and choose that one. It's not correct, so you're going to see an X here. There's the X, and then let's roll. I'll show you until the product is less than nine. I'm going to keep rolling. Okay, so the product in this case is less than nine. Let's go ahead and choose it. And you notice I completed the hole, but only got 20 points. I think I said you get 25 points earlier, but you really only get 20 points. There's no st uh, star. So anyways, um, that's how you play the game. Uh, hope you enjoy it, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and hope it helped, and thanks for watching.